I welcome you to the Big Fat Mixed Media Tribe and in today's episode I will show you how to capture a tiny piece of winter into your scrapbooking project, junk journal or mini album. I have been asked how to make these um, uh, snowflake specimen slides when I showed my advent calendar where I use the specimen slides as um, an ephemera to decorate the advent calendar. So in this video I will show you in more detail step by step how I'm creating these specimen slides. So I'm starting by cutting these uh, squares using a Polaroid cutting die, but it can be any die that cuts squares. I think that this die was by Nicole Silhouette and I cut the equals, equally sized pieces of uh, transparency. I need to cut some snowflakes, but I do not have any snowflake dies, but I have these uh, bubble dies which have a snowflake and a, as a central element. So I will be cutting the snowflakes from very ordinary white uh, copy paper, it is just a little bit thicker than your ordinary paper, around 100 grams. And I'm working on several slides at the same time, so I am cutting um, both the frames, uh, the transparency uh, windows or screens, and the snowflakes to make several slides at the same time. Uh, it saves time and it's much more efficient. So here is my first snowflake. And exactly in the same manner I will I have made all the other snowflakes too. Since these are specimen slides, I wanted to add the tabs on the top of the slides. So I choose very ordinary colored paper in vintage shades and I'm cutting out the tabs using a die. So now we have all the elements cut, let's uh, age them a little bit, just to take away the freshness of the paper. So I'm using the brown ink and I usually take the archival uh, brown ink because of all the brown inks that I have, this has the least amount of red shade. And if you know a good ink with uh, as little red shade as possible, brown ink with as little red shade as possible, please let me know. I'm still in search for one. So I'm using the brown ink to darken the edges of the frames and of the tabs. And now on to labels. You know how I like my labels, so of course this project will have labels too. Once uh, in several months I make a big tea bus for paper and I a huge pile of papers which I can use in different projects and they lend fully for the labels. I'm using uh, some label stamps but they do not need to be label stamps always. It can be simply a small text stamp for example. And I'm also uh, stamping numbers which will go on the tabs. And this time I'm using black archival ink. Now that everything is cut out, let's start the fun part, putting together our slides. So I'm taking one part of the slide, paying attention that I'm putting glue on the left side of the slide, and I'm putting on the tiniest amount of uh, glue. I'm using a glitter glue which grabs really quickly. And I'm also adding 
one or two drops, tiny tiny drops of the glue on my snowflake. It's not exactly to glue it down to the slide, but just to prevent it from sliding between the two sheets of transparency. So I'm putting the second sheet of transparency on top and again, again the tiniest amount of glue because the transparency um, plastic is very slippery so the glue tends to spread very easily and you get to see the traces of glue from underneath the paper so that's why I'm trying to put the tiniest tiniest amount of glue on and let's glue together the rest of them With the main frame of my snowflake slides finished, I'm now gluing the labels. I will be gluing labels on both sides of the slides because they are meant to be ephemera pieces of, or embellishments. So you will be able to see both sides of them. So that's why I like to add some interest to both sides of my snowflake slides. And I'm trying not to repeat the same label on both sides. And of course the round number labels go on top where the tabs are. As a finishing touch, I have chosen a red ink and a stamp which reminds of a handwriting. I like to uh, leave an impression that somebody has really taken a pen and written a little note on this slide. So I'm stamping it slightly at the angle on one corner of my snowflake slides. So here are our snowflake slides all finished and aren't they beautiful? I really really like them. So if you enjoyed the project and feel inspired do press the subscribe button and choose another video to see how to make a wonderful ephemera yourself. And I will see you again in the next episode.